Hey guys, it's me here just giving you an update. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this information. If you don't follow me, I will put my Instagram below so that you can go and get more regular updates. I haven't had a chance to do this update on YouTube until now. So if you would like to know more regular updates on what's going on, just follow me on Instagram there. So for those of you who don't know, yesterday I woke up and I was spotting. I had just been called out to work as well. So once you've been called out to work, you are unable to call up and call in sick because you'll get a written warning because they just assume that you're calling in sick because you don't want to work because you've been called out. So I was forced to go to work. However, before I went to work, I, I quickly went to the doctors and got a referral form to an ultrasound technician to see what was going on. And I went straight to my ultrasound after I finished work and my husband came with me. I didn't have any cramping, which was very confusing as I didn't think it was going to be good news at the ultrasound. But we managed to get in to get an ultrasound just after work. The good news is that baby is, well baby was measuring yesterday at five weeks and five days, which is exactly what I have based on my ovulation date on all of my pregnancy apps. So baby was measuring exactly where it's supposed to be. And also something else really exciting was there was a heartbeat. The average heartbeat for baby was 110 beats per minute, which is perfect for the gestational age of baby. So I was very excited about that and I was shocked because I just assumed that spotting was not good news and that that was going to be the end of my pregnancy. However, it doesn't seem like that and I am still pregnant and the spotting has stopped. So that is so good. It was only a little bit of spotting on the toilet paper and into the toilet and a little tiny bit in my liner as well. So not a lot of bleeding and it wasn't bright red blood, it was brown. So I wasn't sure whether that was an indication of an ectopic pregnancy or something like that. So we went ahead and did an ultrasound and I'm so glad that we did. I got a little bit of film from the ultrasound room. I asked him if I was able to just do a little film of the heartbeat and he said to go right ahead. So it's not great quality. I apologize for that because it was a dark room and my phone doesn't record very well in dark rooms. However, I will insert that short film that I have here. super exciting to see the heartbeat we didn't hear the heartbeat he didn't give us that option and I asked whether we would be able to hear it and he said he mentioned that it was a I think he said tissue damaging technology I'd never heard that before and I was a bit surprised and confused when he said that so he said that they try not to do that unless they absolutely have to but you can see the flicker there and he measured the flicker at 110 beats per minute so that was very, very exciting. And after he left the room, I just burst into tears and my husband just held me and it was tears of happiness, obviously. And we were just so relieved that the spotting was nothing. And like I said, the spotting has gone away now, so everything seems to be good. So that's my quick update for now, guys. I will be doing my six week bump date tomorrow. I look forward to updating you all. Thank you very much for watching. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that is down below. So you can just follow us on there to get more regular updates. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so if you would like to follow our journey. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.